symbols. Praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. All to Jesus I surrender all to Hallelujah, say 
Hallelujah. Not that we don't want to attain anything in this life, but we, just like the Apostle Paul, we can count it all down. It, 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 it's pointless. Because if your relationship with God is not solid, if that foundation is not firm, hallelujah, if you aren't standing on the, the solid rock, which is Christ Jesus, then it's pointless. Hallelujah. So this morning, we just magnify the name of the Lord. This morning, we just tell him how great he is. This morning, we just extol his name. Hallelujah. We extol your name, Yahweh. We worship you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Indeed, you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. We are in good health. We are in your courts this morning to worship you. Hallelujah. And we bless your name, Lord God. You are all that matters. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. But we put you in front. You are priority. Hallelujah. Your voice above all voices. Hallelujah. The songwriter says his voice makes a difference. Ah, when he speaks, he relieves our troubled mind. It's the only voice. I pray that we will listen to the voice of God this morning. Above all else, above our emotions and feelings. Hallelujah. God, we love you this morning. We worship your name, Jesus. Thank you, God, for picking us up. Thank you for seeing us, mighty God, and declaring us justified. Hallelujah. We, we don't deserve your love. We don't deserve your grace or your mercy. But you extend it unto us. It is being lavished upon us. We worship your name, God. Even now, Lord God, we declare that this atmosphere is charged for worship. 
Church's hymnal. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He leadeth me, O oh, blessed thought, O oh, words with heavenly comfort fraught whate'er I do wherever I be still is and that leadeth me alright so we're going to do that one more time he Oh, blessed thought, oh, words with heaven. 
morning, church. Good morning, church. Do you have a praise for the Lord this morning? Has God been good to you this morning? My name is Kemoya Bachelor, and I will come to you with the scripture readings for this morning. Our first scripture reading will be taken from John 12, verses 25 and 26. Can I get an amen when you found it? Amen. Praise the Lord. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Galatians 5.13 Repeat Galatians 5, verse 13. And it reads thus. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God, we glorify you. 
We adore you, Jesus. We exalt and magnify your name. You are holy and you are righteous. Mighty God, I glorify you this morning. Hallelujah. Purifying fire. Mighty God, the life called from heaven this morning. We come before you and we bow. Mighty God, we are not worthy. We are unrighteous. We are wretched. But we thank you for access this morning that we can cry to you, Abba Father. Father God, we come with our nothingness. We come, God Almighty, empty, broken, God Almighty, disobedient, God Almighty, malicious. Mighty God, we come sinful before you this morning. But because you are our daddy, we can come, Lord, and we say, search. We ask that you'll purify us, mighty God. We ask you this morning with your Holy Spirit. Spirit, that you will run through every heart, every mind, every soul, every spirit, God Almighty, this morning. And we ask you, mighty God, that you will hover over us, God, that you will breathe your fresh oil and your anointing and purify us, God Almighty. Oh, mighty God, you know our situation. God individually and corporately look odd and so God we come and we lay ourselves before you I come on behalf of your people I ask you mighty God that you will look on us Lord through your mercy and through your grace Lord and we pray justifying God that you will justify us Lord I pray this morning God that you will search each and every heart God Almighty where there is envy, where is, there is strife, where there is bitterness, where there is anger, resentment, God Almighty, where there is unforgiveness, God, where there is deceit, Almighty God, I ask you, God, that you will purify, that you will set us ablaze, Lord. There's somebody that comes to be touched. There's somebody that comes to set free. There's somebody that God Almighty need a miracle in this atmosphere, God. But you cannot come, God Almighty, as it is. So, Father God, breathe on us, breath of God, and cleanse us, Lord. Present us before your throne. We cannot present ourselves, God, because we are unholy and we are unrighteous. But we ask your mighty God as you purify us, Lord, that you will take us to the next level in worship. We ask that this morning as we come, Lord, our praises will be acceptable unto you, God Almighty. Father, have your own sweet divine way. Visit us, God Almighty, today. Let there, a, let there be a praise from the inward parts of us, Lord, to you, God Almighty, that when we have left here, God, we can say it was good for us to be here, mighty God. We ask that you bless us, Lord, individually and collectively. We ask that you'll breathe upon every offering of praise, of thanksgiving, be it monetary or otherwise, that you'll breathe upon our sacrifices, God, and that God Almighty holiness, God Almighty righteousness, purity will come from the inward parts of us, Lord. Father God, have your own sweet divine way upon this program. Mighty God, take charge. Mighty God, redirect God Almighty. Let your Holy Spirit flow. Let praises be free unto you because regardless of what we are going through, it doesn't change who you are. That you are God and all by yourself you are God and that you created us to worship. So let worship 
flow from the inward beings of us this morning. And at the end of the day, God, your face will be smiling, God Almighty. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted, mighty God. Be adored, God. Take charge and have your own sweet divine way. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, friends. Good morning, well-wishers. Hallelujah. We come to give the Lord praise this morning. And I have been tasked to do the welcome and the announcements. I consider this an honor and a privilege to be able to stand in the house of the Lord before God's holy people. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have been looking at the scripture, Psalms 9, up to last night. And it says, praise God with our whole heart. So we come this morning to praise God with our whole heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Not half a heart, piece of heart, but our heart whole heart because when God giving us anything him give us the whole of it not part of it not peace praise God and it tell us that we must tell of his marvelous works to me that so must testify of the goodness of God of his favor his mercies his grace his faithfulness who must tell others Praise God. And we must be glad and rejoice in him and sing praises. And that's what we come to do today, to praise our God. No matter how we feel today, we're going to give God what is due unto him. And so I'm going to invite you to stand once more and lift up the name of Jesus, the most high God, the God who alone is worthy of all our praise. He deserves it. It is he who woke us up this morning and clothed us in our right minds. It is he who brought us here safe and sound to worship him, to adore him. Hallelujah. And so we lift up the name of Jesus and we tell him thanks for all that he has done for us. Indeed, he is a faithful God. He is a good God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to welcome our senior pastor, Reverend Alexander Sims, and his beautiful wife, First Lady Lenisha Sims. Could you stand for me, sir and madam? Hallelujah. We welcome you to the house of God. Praise the name of Jesus. We also want to make welcome our assistant pastor, Bishop Dr. Kevin Page. Dr. Page, could you stand, sir? Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us and for guiding us in this season. We give God thanks for the both of you. Praise God. I want to welcome the council members who are in our presence. Council members, could you stand? Hallelujah. Mighty men of valor. Five of them. Sister Paula. The rose among the, should I say thorns? No. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to also welcome the heads of departments. Yes? And committee members. Welcome to the house of God. Hallelujah. We give God praise for the children. Children, could you stand so you can get an extra special welcome? Yes. Our heritage is in the house. Welcome. Hallelujah. Okay. Bless you, children. Hallelujah. Want to make welcome our ushers. Yes, our musicians, the praise and worship team, Daniel Force Choir. Yes, give it up for Daniel Force on Psalm, I'm told. Amen. Our parking attendants and our hospitality team. Praise God. 
I want to specially welcome Sister Paige. I understand that she's in the house. Sister Paige, could you stand, please? Yes. Bless you. Amen. Praise God. I want to welcome all the persons who have joined us on the virtual platform. We give God thanks that you are able to join, and we pray that today you will get a very special blessing. But guess what? It's what you put in. So you see the cooking and the other things that you are going to be doing while doing service, you're not going to get much out of it. So we just ask that you station yourself one place and take in the program, yes, and you will get all that the Lord has in store for you this morning. Praise God. I want to welcome the first-time visitors. Are there any first-time visitors in the house? Can I ask you to stand, please? Wow, nice. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Old Harbor. Yes, we welcome you. You are at the right place at the right time, and I am positive that you are going to be blessed today. And I ask you to worship the Lord as you know how. Praise God. Our long-standing visitors, we welcome you today. And members of the Old Harbor New Testament Church, can I ask you to stand? Hallelujah. 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 Yes, praise God. Amen. Amen. God is doing a new thing among us, and we give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise God. Amen. And now I am going to turn over to the announcements. Please listen keenly. All are invited to join us this evening for evangelistic service beginning at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. The service will also be on the Zoom platform. Heads of departments and ministry leaders are being reminded of the special meeting with Reverend Sims this evening in the multipurpose room beginning at 6 p.m. Fasting service will be held this and every Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. The service will also be on Zoom. Please join us this Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the Zoom platform for another interesting and exciting time of Bible study. Yes. We implore as many persons to log on and remember to invite someone. Applications are invited for the position of administrative assistant at the Old Harbor New Testament Church. Applicants should possess a diploma in administration, management, or in related field. CPS certification or equivalent professional certification. The individual should have at least two years experience in a similar position. The person should be competent in records management, proficient in Microsoft Hallelujah. Suite, that is Access, Word, and Excel, be highly confidential, quality customer service, and good communication skills. Applications should be submitted to Bishop Alexander Sims at Old Harbor New Testament at gmail.com no later than October 31 by 4 p.m. This week is Ladies' Week in the New Testament Church of God. To be a part of the week's activities, the women in the Old Harbor District of Churches will be having two virtual sessions as follows. October 25 at 7.30 p.m., there will be a session on financial planning and management, and all are invited. On October 27 at 7 p.m., there will be a session on breast, 
and most prevalent cancer awareness. And again, all are invited. You will get the link sometime this week. Attention all tertiary students from sixth form to those in university or colleges and so on. The National Tertiary Students Ministry will be hosting its annual apologetics seminar under the theme, Life's Big Questions. This will be held on Saturday, October 29, at the University of Technology, beginning at 10 a.m. There will be a church conference on Sunday, October 30, 2022, beginning at 6 p.m. sharp, and all members are asked to make a special effort to be in attendance. Calling all seniors. I love this one. I'm in that category. Oh. Calling all seniors. That's right. You are invited to be a part of seniors meeting on Tuesday, November 1, 2022, beginning at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. It promises to be a time of rejuvenation, refreshing, and educational. Seniors, please make it a date. Sister Palmer, Sister Elaine Fuller, Mother Bell, Sister Jennings. Ah, come on. Sister Ioni, we have to be there for seniors meeting. Amen. The seventh day apostolic faith ministries under the leadership of Apostle Dr. Hall, will be having three weeks of Tent Crusade under the theme, Bring Back the Glory, from October 15 to November 6, beginning at 6.30 p.m. Persons who are interested in being baptized are being asked to submit their names to the church office. Baptism will be on Sunday, November 13, 2022. On Sunday, November 13, 2022, in the evening service, we will be having reception of members. Persons who are interested in having their membership transferred from another church are asked to visit the church office for further information. Sunday school books for the period September 22 to February 23, are still available for purchase at a cost of $500 each. You may visit the usher's desk to make your purchase. Wellness Bay. We want to remember the following persons in our prayers who are experiencing health challenges at this time. Sister Selma Hewitt, Tanya Smith-Cox, Latoya Banton, Veronica Hibbert, and Marie Campbell-Brown, and brothers Everton Campbell and Baron White. Reminders, each ministry is reminded to win at least one soul per month. Youth Fellowship is held this and every Friday at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Teens ministry meetings will be held this and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Zoom and prayer meetings are held on Saturday mornings at 6.30 a.m. in the sanctuary and also on Zoom. Do have a spirit-filled week. Amen. 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 We're about to dance in the presence of the Lord this morning. We know that when we gather, the courts of hell shake. So we're going to sing some songs this morning. Songs of praise to our King. Comrade, sister, make we mash down Satan's kingdom. 
Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, take it down, take it down, Mr. Music. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun. And when the sun has gone down, God is still worthy. Hallelujah. You cannot outdo the Lord with praise. You can't outdo the Lord with praise. So if I ask you to lift your hand above your head and worship God another time, it's not too much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Woo! Glory! Thank you that I can, I can be in the house of the Lord. Thank you that I can speak. I can lift my hands. I can stamp my feet. I can shout glory! Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just before I give the announcement, let me greet all those watching us by way of the different platforms. You see how good it is to have you with us. And I join with a person who gave this, a genius who gave the announcement, and say that if you, uh, you should not be cooking and washing and watching the service. You need to get yourself ready and sit before your television and be in church, away from church. Amen? So I encourage you to do that. Two very, very, very special announcements. And so I would like for you to listen as it relates to the conference next Sunday. The council and myself has just met and we have decided to change the time from 6 p.m. to right after church. So we're going to, don't worry, we're going to slice things and put everything in place and so we'll have our conference right after service. Amen? Amen. The second thing is, in that conference, we're going to be having a session called Let's Talk. Let's Talk. All right? So you maybe have some, something you want to be, you've been wanting to say for a long time now. But you haven't got the opportunity. And so we're going to talk. And, 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 and you, you're just free to talk and, and empty yourself and get it off. Get it off. Tell me what you don't like. Hello, somebody. We're going to talk as a family. Amen? Amen? If you feel hurt, you're going to talk. If you feel bad about something, you're going to talk. And we won't have any TV to catch you. So you don't have to be afraid. Amen? We'll turn off. Amen. All right. Today we have two special persons I want to introduce to you. Esther Taylor. Esther Taylor is here. How is Esther Taylor supposed, sitting down here so today? Sister Taylor? I don't know how you reach down there so on a youth day. And so while she's coming, you're gonna cheer on her waist. The tailor is hold it, hold it, don't don't cheer it. You, you're cheering her and welcoming her to a new position that of district youth director. So come to support. Come take your right through place. Yeah. Bring your bring your some things and come. Yeah. So Hallelujah. 
She will not just be leading the young people in this local church, but she'll be leading the, the young people on the district of churches. And so we, I need also to introduce to you our new local director in person of Sister Vicky Renner. Make her welcome. And when, when Reverend Page comes, I'm going to ask him to pray for these two persons in their new position. Thank you. Matter of fact, come and say a word. Come and say a word. Bless the name of Jesus. Or do we have a praise for the Lord this morning? Do we have a praise for the Lord this morning? You know, the Lord reminds us, or the word reminds us that when we labor, we labor not in vain. And um, I am surprised. It's not the first time I'm hearing, but certainly when God has called you to a higher purpose, you have to make yourself available. And um, you have to prepare. And preparation is not just now, but when you are locked into the things of God, he will do what he needs to do when the time is right. I have now been tasked with leading a youth or the youths of the Old Abba district. And I know it is a momentous task, one that I will need your prayers for. Because we see what has been happening with our young people. And I know that this is not something that can be done of self. But certainly we will need the presence and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So I ask for your continuous prayers as we give support to the youth department. And even more so to our local youth director, Sister Vicky Ann Reynolds. So thank you all for your prayers and your support in moving forward. Amen. I just want to say that I believe that I am here for such a time as this. And I bless the Lord. I, I am honored and humbled to even have been considered. But I love young people and I love God. And I just want to serve him and serve him and serve him and do whatever he has called me to in this time, in this season. I crave your prayers. I crave your support as we take the young people of the Old Harbor New Testament Church of God and the environs by extension to another level. To another level. We can't stay at the same level. We must always progress higher heights and deeper depths in God. But like Esther, I believe that I've come to the kingdom for such a time as this. God bless you. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. In next week's service, one of the things we're going to be doing, we're going to be relaunching our children's ministry and the children's church. And the second thing we're going to do, we're going to relaun relaunch our senior citizens ministry. Amen. And they are going to take us to another level. I am trusting God for great times. I am trusting the Lord for great times. Amen. The next thing I want to say before I go to worship in giving is for the meeting later on, I'm going to ask all the ministry leaders that are here present this time. All ministry leaders, prior, fasting, children, youth, men, women, council. All right. So I'm asking you to meet with me this evening at 6 p.m. sharp. 
We don't want to kill service, so we want to finish so that we have a seven o'clock start for service. Amen? So please, I'm asking you, when it comes to time, I am very peculiar about that. So six o'clock this evening, meet me in the, thank you so much. Okay, it's time to worship the Lord in giving. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to read the graces and then I'm going to in ask Sister Sims to pray for our tithes and offerings. So let's stand together as we read the graces. Giving is a grace. And we seek to excel in this grace as in other graces. We affirm that all the tithes belong to God for the work of God. We will not rob God of his tent. We will stand on promised blessings. We affirm he that it sparingly shall also reap sparingly. He that saw it bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Every man, as he purposeth in his heart, let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Praise God. Remain standing for prayer. Let us bow our hearts praise and thanksgiving. Kind loving Father and our God, we your children come before your presence another time. We come with thanksgiving in our heart. Father God, we are here and we are at your, we are responding to your command that we are to give our tithes and offering, bring it into the storehouses. We pray God that as we, as your children give, that Lord, you will bless us. We want to thank you for health. We want to thank you for the privilege of work. We're asking you to provide for those who have no job at this time. We pray, God, that you will bless abundantly and help us to be willing at all times to worship, not just in mouth, but in thanksgiving and in praise and in giving to your cause. We just ask your blessing. Bless everyone today as we say thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ushers. Thank you. Work it together. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. The Apostle Paul says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Just turn to your neighbor and say, After a while. I didn't hear that. Just turn to your neighbor and say, After a while. After the sunshine comes the rain, after the gladness, grief, and pain, but there will come a better day. After a while, we must keep pressing toward the goal, seeking the homeland of the soul. If we have joy like Lady King, after a while, oh, after a while, after a while, glory is waiting over there.
one. Okay, hallelujah. Let's just put our hands together for the Holy Spirit who is in this place. Hallelujah. After a while. At this time, we are going to be welcoming the Daniel Force Ensemble, following which the next voice you will hear is that of our speaker this morning, Bishop Dr. Reverend Kevin H. So I want us to put our hands together after the Daniel Force Ensemble ministers to us and make welcome this morning's speaker. God bless you all. Hallelujah, we give God the glory. He deserves the glory. Hallelujah. In everything that we do, in everything that we say, God should be glorified. Hallelujah. And for his glory, we will do anything. Bless the name of Jesus. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be. I'll travel near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, oh God, to behold you as my King. Lord, if I find. Favor Travel near or far. Travel near or far. Say for your glory, God. Oh, say I will do anything because I want to see you. To behold you well. To behold you well. Say for your glory, God. 
Church, keep praying for the young people as they run after the Lord. Praise God. Give Jesus a praise, my brothers and my sisters. Give Jesus praise, Church of God. Give Jesus praise, my brothers and sisters. Give him all the glory he deserves. He draws us and we'll go running after him. We'll go seeking his face. We'll go serving him. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you so much. You may be seated. While you're seated, just lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Just give him honor, my brothers and sisters. Just love on him, church of God. He draws us and we'll go running after him. We give God praise and honor. 
As we thank the Daniel Force and Sam for a wonderful rendition, may God bless you. And his grace continue to be upon your life. And we love God and we bless God and we give our God all praise and every glory and every honor. We have been worshiping well, Church of God. And for this 30, 40, 30 to 45 minutes that we'll speak, we'll be worshiping him together still. And when we leave this house, we'll be still worshiping him still. And throughout our time in his presence, we'll be blessing and honor our God because he's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same. Our God is worthy to be praised. Brothers and sisters, I greet my senior pastor and lead pastor of this wonderful church, um, Bishop Alexander Sims. God bless you, A.G. Sims and Bishop Sims and Sister Sims as well. I give you greetings and my heartiest regard. I want to greet the council. I am very happy to see this council sitting down in this church. When the man them star, John Wong. Good to see all of you, Bridget. Blessings. Like it. God bless you. Sister Paula, God bless you. I see you sitting down there. And I appreciate those messages. Those dust set the Lord. Must be a series. Stay tuned. Stay right there. May God bless you. Give the council a round of applause, everybody. These men and women are standing by the work of the Lord. May God bless them. And give them strength and grace. And all of the leaders, I greet as well my two fellow co-workers, Sister Sylvie and, of course, Sister Vicky. God bless you. Good to have you as my co-workers. We work through this youth department together and nationally. Right, District Director? God bless you. Praise God. My brothers and my sisters, I greet you well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings, young people. Blessings and and, and every love and respect and regards to you. I greet my wife as well, Raquel, and Gabriel, and Joshua. And my niece is also with us. Um, God bless you, Carla. God bless you, everybody. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, our God is a great God. Mighty God, a powerful God. Worthy to be praised, my brothers and sisters. Come on, church of God. He's worthy, he's God. He's awesome. I greet those who are viewing online as well. And may God bless you. And may you have a rich time as well in the presence of the Lord. Let's see what the word of the Lord says to us this morning as we look in the scriptures, Exodus chapter 14. And I know you're asking me, that old worn beaten path, what more can you bring from that? And I understand, I, I would have loved to preach something different, but I felt convicted in my spirit that this is the word that the Lord wants me to preach and several conviction as well. Uh, I would have loved to go to a strange book like Amos or somewhere there, Jude. <laughs> but this is, it. this is where Sister Pearlie and I stay today. <laughs> God bless you. Exodus chapter 14, old worn beaten path. I don't know what I can tell Bishop Sims that he has not known out of this text today. <laughs> Praise God. But here's what the word of the Lord says to us, brothers and sisters. The Lord, I'm reading from verse 8. All of this is one block of material, but I'll pick up from verse 8 to over about verse 22. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites who were marching out boldly. The Egyptians, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots, horsemen and troops pursued the Israelites and overtook them as they came by the sea near Pihahirat, opposite Bahal Zephan. As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to this desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see them again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, 
Why are you crying to me? My God Almighty, I never know God could tell man, stop praying. God just said to Moses, stop praying, man. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ. I never knew that. God said to Moses, yes, let me read it again. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the Israelites to move forward or move on. Raise your staff. Stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go after them and I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the angel of God who had been traveling in front of Israel's army withdrew and went behind them. What a God. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to one side and light to the other side. So neither went near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided and the Israelites went through the sea and dry ground with a wall of water on their right and also on their left. Brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Go through with God. Father, we give you thanks today. Lord, we lift up your holy name. God, we bless you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we have no confidence in ourselves, our abilities, Heavenly Father. Oh, God Almighty, we look to you today. You are the author and finisher of our faith, Lord Jesus. My Father, we come before your holy presence. Lord, we recognize that you are high, you are great, but you have made yourself accessible to us, and we thank you, Lord. We pray, Almighty God, as we have read your word. Father, we are about to, oh Lord Jesus, speak, oh God, from you what you'd want your people to hear. But I pray, my Father, that self will be slain. Oh God Almighty, all, Lord Jesus, my will, my wish, my desires, Lord, will be crucified beneath the cross. And that Jesus, you'll be pleased, you'll be glorified. I pray, my Father, oh God, that I'll speak thus, said the Lord. That Almighty God, I'll say what you want, not what I wish. I pray, oh God, that your people will be blessed, Heavenly Father. Your people will be encouraged, Almighty God. And that Lord Jesus, say your people will carry on, not by their might, not by their power, but knowing that the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, oh God, you are with them. I pray, my Father, as you know, Lord Jesus, that God, the devil will try, my Father, God, to intercept your word, to bring, oh God, confusion. But we pray that the Spirit of God, who has been present, Lord, present, Lord Jesus, from all these many years upon the face of this earth, God, you will, oh God Almighty, monitor and you will lead and you will direct. You will set back the powers of darkness. Oh God, the plans of the enemy will come to naught, my Father. And Jesus, you'll be glorified. Intercept every dark, my Father. Every setup of hell. Bring to nothing, God. I pray, my Father, that Jesus will be glorified. Your people will be blessed, Father. We thank you for being our God. We say today in this house, my God, arise and let thy name be glorified heavenly father we give you glory we give you praise we give you honor we ask you dear god saturate this atmosphere with your blood my father may the angels of god fill this place almighty god may that cloud my father oh god that wandered in the desert with Israel be in the midst of us today. May you be light unto us almighty God. May the scriptures, may your word, oh God the entrance of your word bring light and life and energy, oh God and truth Lord as it only can to the lives of the believers. Father I pray today that God you'll be pleased heavenly father. The devil will be silent God and our father in heaven will be magnified. Thank you father for being our God. We give you all glory. We give you all praise. 
in Jesus' name. And the church of God says, and the church of God says, praise God. My brothers and sisters, go through with God. Brothers and sisters, the text, like I've said, is a old beaten path. But I feel that God wants us to glean a few things from this as we tread this Christian pathway. It's not an easy road, my brothers and sisters. But I want to say to you in this difficult time, in this challenging season, go through with God. The word of the Lord says, in Exodus of course, that this book is a book that the people of God marched out of Egypt. Marched out of captivity. Oh God, my brothers and sisters, as God sat in heaven, the Bible says to us that he looked down and he saw the affliction of the children of Israel. The Egyptians, oh God, had enslaved them and was treating them so poorly. My brothers and sisters, all the good that Israel had done for Egypt, the repayment for that was evil. I don't know how you repay good with evil, but they were repaid with evil, my brothers and sisters. Remember that Joseph went down there to provide for Egypt and by, and by extension the entire world and had preserved humanity alive. And all Israel did was just to serve Egypt very well. The time has come that God multiplied and increased his people and God's people grew and become plenty. My brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that while they were there, Moses had to run away because he had committed murder. It's so, it, it, God is so wonderful that sometimes when some people do some bad things, God still bring them into the house of God. God still bring them into his family and find purpose for them. He murdered a man and he was by Sinai upon the mountain feeding some fl uh, uh, flocks of sheep, my brothers and sisters. As he fed them, the Bible tells us that God appeared to him in some burning bush, my brothers and sisters. Oh God, hear me young people. Moses at the time was very caught up and wanted to see what was this burning bush about. The Bible tells us he drew nigh and God asked him to take off his shoes and God spoke to him. But here's what I like that God said to him. God said, I have heard the cries of my people and I am come down to deliver them. Oh God Almighty, church of God. Oh God, what a story for God to say. I have heard the voice or the cry of my people and I am come down to deliver them. God sent Moses down into Egypt to bring his people out because of the cry and the suffering that they were having. Oh God, as he went to fear and I'm cutting it and bringing you somewhere click quickly and clearly oh god as he went to pharaoh my brothers and sisters pharaoh with his pomp and in his pride he said who is this god oh god when moses told him that god said to let my people go let go me pick me them let go me children oh god pharaoh said who that god Fan of God, run with God, put back God aside. But God had already told Moses that he was going to harden the heart of Pharaoh. So he will get his glory upon Pharaoh. I see how asks me. Then how God hardened Pharaoh's heart. And then God turned on and judged Pharaoh. My God, that sounds unnatural. And I see uh, somebody goes up. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I want to say to you, do you know that fear hardened his own heart first? Yes. But God said, let me show you how man hardened heart. Since you're bad, me, I'm going to show you. Yeah, man. Exodus chapter 7, verse 3 and verse 4. Write it down. When you go home, you study. Let me read it in the meantime. <clears throat> God says, but I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And though I multiply my signs and wonders in Egypt, he will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt and, um, and, and with a mighty act of judgment, I will bring out my people by division. So fear of from the one church of God and that hardness will not. God said, when we go with a mighty hand, him not going to do it unless a mighty hand propel him. Oh God Almighty. 
Oh God, church of God. On my ears, brothers and sisters, I struggle. How could God harden a man's heart then judge him? But I understand. The man hardened his own heart first and unless a mighty hand, mightier than his hand, propel him. And in those days, there was only one hand mightier than Pharaoh's hand. It was only the hand of God. Pharaoh was the mightiest man on land at that time. But God tell him, a mightier hand. <laughs> go through it, God. Tell your neighbor, go through with God. Go through with God. Cut and go through with God. Go through with God. Go through with God, young people. My brothers and my sisters, Pharaoh's heart was hardened because God wanted to bring and to show Pharaoh that he was the true champion of earth and of heaven. The Bible says to us, my brothers and sisters, that God had to send about ten plagues upon Pharaoh. Church of the living God, the water God turned it into blood. Oh, that was a, 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 an attack upon the God of the Egyptian. The Nile was considered a God in Egypt. My brothers and sisters, God raised again one more plague. The plagues of the frogs. The frogs also were considered to be what? Gods of Egypt. Brothers and sisters, God raised the plagues of lies, biting Egyptians. Do you know also that the lies was considered to be a god in Egypt, or gods of Egypt? Oh, God raised my brothers and sisters, like boils and trouble upon the livestock. Preacher, the livestock were considered what? Gods. That's why when Israel came out, they made a what? A bull and worship it also. God attacked them with some more plagues. And you get the gist already. That the hail was also what? Considered God. Lightning and thunder. Locust. God still. My brothers and sisters, darkness was considered God. And the last thing that God attacked for the Israelites, for the Egyptians, were the firstborn. And you know, the firstborns were considered what? To be what? To be considered God. So God attacked me, Pharaoh, and all his gods. Lord Jesus Christ. Go through with God, church of God. Go through with God, brothers and sisters. All the gods that are around you, they will fail, and your God alone shall stand. Go through with God. Mm. Yeah, man. So God just attacked them seriously. See a mighty hand here. See a mighty hand here. See a mighty hand here. You like to worship darkness, let me send three days upon you. You like to worship um, lightning and thunder, let me show you lightning and thunder. Also God proved to them at that time that he was God. My brothers and sisters, it comes to the point of the text where I want to uh, stay for a while. That God now, oh God, the Egyptians say, who no come out of here, go on about to no business. The, the Israelites spoiled the Egyptians. They took their gold, their silver, their clothes, their needing trough and all wealth that they could have carried off. While they go, my brothers and sisters, Oh, Israel came upon a point in life, in the journey that God had them on. This place, my brothers and sisters, was a place of trouble and bother. Oh God, as they come, they came upon the, the Red Sea. They began grumbling, murmuring, and complaining. Oh God Almighty, at this point, they asked Moses, didn't we tell you, Moses, leave us alone in Egypt. We want to stay and to serve the Egyptian. Oh, what wasn't there enough grave in Egypt that you have brought us in the wilderness to die? That was sarcasm at its highest. Uh, oh, because the Egyptians were the best when it comes to burying dead. Mm -hmm. That's where you learned the, 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 the embalming and all of those things started from. So when they said that to Moses, it was sarcasm that they were throwing in the face of Moses. They said, didn't weren't there enough graves that we could be buried in Egypt? My brothers and sisters, but God had a plan. God was working something out. I know that God is working something out for whole harbor. God's hand is upon the church, upon your brother, upon your sister. All I want you to understand is just go through still with God. The Red Sea is there. Fear is there. Trouble are all around. But go through with God. While you're going through with God, I just want to give you two things. One, that you must go through with God in confidence. You hear what I said to you? If you're going through with God, go through with God in confidence. And you must go through upon the instructions of the Almighty God. 
Brothers and sisters, Moses led the people to the brink of the Red Sea. Or the proper term is Reed Sea. My brothers and sisters, and oh God Almighty, when he gets there, and the grumbling and murmuring and complaining, oh God, I can understand they have never seen anything like that before. Walls on both sides, mountains, Pahirat, another mountain, Baal Zephan, standing up, intruding, imposing, a Red Sea equally deadly ahead of them my brothers and sisters an enraged army chasing after God's people but you don't have to worry when you are walled in it means that you're walled in with God when sea is before you mountains on both sides enemies are behind you and you stand up in the midst you better know this young people that you're standing in the midst with almighty God I hear the song man said no never I'm never alone when trouble all around you when all sort of things breaking loose on you be known that you're standing in the midst with God Almighty let the storm cloud rise they won't worry me because I am safe in the hand of the Almighty God So while he stood there, my brothers and sisters, Moses, I want to say, never knew what to do. Oh God, or how to do it. But this was one thing. He was certain of the result. Lord God, he never knew what to do. Oh, he never knew either how to do it. But he was certain of the result because he's God. If Jesus is in the vessel, you're going to smile at the storm. If God is for you, then who can be against you? If God blesses you, tell me who can cause you? Mountain can stop you. Fear can block you. Red Sea have you part up. Jordan have you open up. Devil have you run out. When God comes in, go through it, God. Go through it, Jah. Go through it, God. Go through it, God. He never knew how to do what or what to do. But he was certain of the result. Moses saw God light up a fire but not consume a bush. Moses saw God send lies. Moses saw God send boil and darkness. Kill off the Egyptian firstborn. Then Moses might be thinking, I don't know how he's going to do this. But I know that I know that God is going to do it. The same God yesterday. And the same God today, same God of morning, same God of evening, God is going to do it. I hear you. God has never lost his mighty power. God has never lost a battle. God never gets weary. God never sleeps or slumber. God never runs out of idea. God is all powerful. Our God is mighty. He's mightier than the mighty. He's greater than the greater. He's the all time undisputed champion. A this a God a warrior. Oh God, 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 God. Jesus Christ. The lion of the tribe of Judah prevails. All you have to do, just go through with God. I don't know what to do, and I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna rest myself, I'm gonna relax myself. It's not all right. I trouble surround me, but I in the midst with God. I fenced in with God. I am boxed in with God. I am walled in with God. Bars and walls around me, but I'm not me alone. I'm me and Jaja. I got an eye. So come, devil. Come, waters. Come, fear. Come, mountain. I got an eye. I'm going to go through with God. I'm going to walk through with God. I'm going to step through with the Almighty God. Anytime that I don't know 
Just what to do? I cast all my cares on him. Vicky, you hear me sing now? If any time that I don't know just what to do, I cast all my cares upon him. Oh, come on, Wolaba. Cast your care upon Jesus. Jesus care for you. You don't know what to do. Moses never knew what to do. But Moses was certain of the result that God was going to come through. You see, if it were familiar, he could have said, Oh, I have seen God work it this way already. But he never come upon the waters before. He never knew how to walk across no mile of sea before. He never see shark and all kind of wheel and all kind of something and harm and all kind of thing before him. He has never experienced God like that before. God was planning a new experience for his servant. I have an experience for you. Hear me, young people. God has an experience for you. You never experienced this yet. But God is going to show you his glory. God, you have never experienced anything like this before. But God is going to show you how you're going to get through this. Mm -hmm. Go through it, God. Mm -hmm. Moses never knew. But he was confident that God was going to do something. My God Almighty, he has never seen this in all his life. Never experienced this in all his life. But he said, Judge, I'm arresting you. If there's any savior, you. if there's any deliverer, it is you. If there's any way out, it has to be you. Rest in the arms of sweet deliverance. Lay your burden down, church of God. Oh, God, all your burden, put them on Jesus. He cares for you. All that is happening in your life, in your family, in your church, with your children at your job. Know this. Just have confidence in God. Go through with God in confidence. Huh. My brothers and sisters, in the text, I saw the people cried out to God, but the curse of Moses. Huh. In the text, it's clear. The Bible said they cried out to God. But the Bible said, then tell Moses, say, where you carry out of her? Them said, God help us. But they said, Moses, where you do? They said, God have mercy upon me. But they said, Moses, you are idiot. They said, God remember me. But they said, Moses, where you come from? They cried to God. And watch that, that's confidence still, you know. They're crying to God. But they're quarreling with Moses. Oh, my brothers and sisters, Moses uh, oh, began to, to, to get weary a little bit. Hear what God says to Moses. God asks Moses, and Moses now, when Moses done assure the people that everything is going to alright, we're going to go through, man. Hear Moses now, no? Moses leave that now, and then Moses gone to God. Moses leave the people. Moses tell them everything going to be alright, man. But Moses not sure what was going to be, but he was certain that God was going to do something. <laughs> Moses, God asked him, why are you crying to me? Get up and get going. Lord Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, God tell Moses, like I told you, stop praying, man. Get up off your face. Get up, man. Oh, God, quit yourself like a man. Wash off your face, man. Stand up, man, and get ready. Haven't I used you before? Oh, God, you lift up your staff and you strike Pharaoh and Egypt. Why are you worried about a sea? Why are you worried about, oh, God Almighty, a problem standing before you? Haven't you seen God work before church? Don't get disheartened. Don't get disquieted. Don't become discomforted. You have seen the hand of God in your life already. You don't know how it's going to work now. But I am telling you, the same God who delivered you from the enemy, from the drunken driver, from the sorcerer, from the boss leader, and the same God I go help you through this. Just go through with God. To get going is a challenge. The challenges are real. 
but go through still. Young people lost uh -huh. and all kind of things happening in your body and in your mind. Oh God, these, my brothers and sisters, young people, cause you to be uncomfortable and disquieted at times. Oh God, what all I am saying to you is this. Go through with God. Israel thought it was better to be in bondage than to go through the challenges. I want to tell you that if Jesus, where Jesus is, a modern all kind of garbage, if you want to use that terminology for want of a better word, but where the devil is, a gold and silver, I'd rather be in the place where Jesus is than at the place where the devil caused me to flourish. I want you to understand, oh God Almighty, that trouble and weeping endure for the night, but joy I come tomorrow morning. Troubles may endure for the night, weeping for the moment, but joy is coming in the morning. A relief is coming. God is going to come through for you. I'd rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I'd rather, oh God Almighty, to be nothing in the house of God than to serve the devil. In a palace and with everything. Oh, fear of thought that Israel's God ran out a miracle. Because he said, yes, they're in a cul-de-sac. They're at a dead end. They can't get through. Oh, God, we marshal. This, 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 this Satan rise up in a fear of, fear of marshalling troops. 5,000 charioteers. Oh, God, want to drive. One on it with the spear to kill all those who you could. And your foot soldiers and charioteers. And they're running after the people of God. Trying to destroy God's people. They say, see there. They mean a call this sacra. See there. They are at a dead end. See there. They can't progress. See there. They now move. See there. They now go nowhere. See there. They now go be promoted. See there. They can't pass the exam. But I want to tell the devil, with God is in the vessel, then we're going to smile at this time. You must progress. You must prosper. You must pass the subject. You must grow in God. You must be different. Oh God. Because God's grace surrounds your life. If God be for you, then you tell me what devil can be against you. Yes, I call this up, but I have God. A dead end, that's what you feel I have God. With God, there's no dead end. With God, there's no call this up. My brothers and my sisters, with God there's no dead end. With God there's no cul de sac. With God you're not dead. With God you're not done. With God you are something. Oh, with God you're great, you're strong, you are maturity. I no cul de sac. With the physical eyes, it's a cul de sac. With the physical eyes, it's a dead end. With the physical eyes, it says destruction. With the physical eyes, it says you can't make it. With the physical eyes, Sister Paula, you're gonna go under. But can I tell the church? Oh God, I we walk by faith, not by sight. Call the sack or no call the sack. Dead end or no dead end. I have Jesus. I have power. The out power over the enemy. I have grace. I can make it. I have strength, not by might, not by power, but by the Holy Ghost. I have God. I have God. I have God. I am going through with my Lord. I am going through. I'm going to leap over wall. I'm going to jump over fences. I'm going to run upon the devil. I am going through. Lord, 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 
Lord, Lord, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord God, Lord, the devil thought he had you, the devil thought he had cornered you, the devil thought he had pinned you down, the devil thought this is the end of you, the devil come with swords and bombs and bayonet, but like a David, we come in the name of the Lord. Whether I call this a car dead end, I'm gonna go through. Because if God is in the vessel, if God is for you, no devil can stop you. You're gonna pass the subject, you're gonna get the job, you're gonna be promoted, you're gonna strap up all the things that the devil hung upon your life. You're gonna move through, you're gonna go through. It's not your power, it's not your strength. It's not to give things, it's the Lord God that is with you. Come on, Wolaba. Come on, God, pity them. Lift up your hand and bless him. Come on, God's children. Lift up your hands and praise him and say, I am going through with the Lord. Dead end. We no care. Giant are no giant. We no care. Sierra Jordan. We no care. Lord God Almighty, all the mighty army are come. We no care because more are with us than they that are with them. Open up their eyes, Elijah said. Let them see the angels. Let them see the fire. Let them see the chariots. Let them see the angels. Let them see that God is with us. Despair says, despair, despair. The children of Israel were in despair. Here's what despair says. Have confidence in God to go through. Despair says, you are hopeless. Standing against this army. Fear says, retreat, surrender, and beg. Impatience says, we need God now to do something. Or else we're going to take matters in our own hands. I want to tell Olaba, do not be despaired. You are not hopeless. You have God. Do not be afraid. You have God. Haven't I commanded you? Do not be afraid. Oh God, oh God, I feel God. There's a power. There's an anointing in the house of God. Oh Lord Jesus. Ah, fear says retreat and surrender. Impatience says I'm going to beg. But hear the word of the Lord. But we have in this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed all I say go through it judge oh Lord and God you may be perplexed you may be persecuted but you're not abandoned because you all you have is God go through it three responses three responses Moses gave to the question or the statement here Moses to the children of Israel. Three things Moses said to them. One, do not be afraid. No make no phobia take you. Wall on nurse. Sit on nurse. Ride on. Ride on. Lord God Almighty, you'll pump bump the road, you know, but ride on. Lord, the other day when I come in, in from Trinidad, Lord God, and, and the hurricane was threatening Jamaica. When the pilot approached the runway, he said, passengers, we have to get up and go around again. And if we go around again, and when I come and we can't land, I'm going to take you to Bahamas, or I'm going to take you to Florida, I think, he said. I said, Lord God, I want to go home, go see my wife and my children. And I was leaning back in there and I pray. When the plane I got my feet, it just dropped down, way down so, and people say, why? And I said, Lord, may I sit on into thine hands? I've committed my spirit. Lord Jesus, the ride was bumpy. But when everything was said and done, he said, I'm approaching the runway now. My nose is up and my landing gears are out. And I am putting down to taxi now to run it down. And when we feel it pain, the jet hit the ground. It's going to shake up and everybody clap. You're in a God jet. God are your pilot. God are your captain. 
We master the sea. It may be rough, but hold on. Sit down in a Zion. Hold, hold on in a Zion. Sit down. Ride out the ship. Sit down there, sit down there, and ride there. Sit down and ride. Sit down. And I'm not, and I'm not, I never tell you that I can ride horse and donkey. Oh God Almighty, Mr. Dale, my neighbor, used to have him donkey them and him horses. Lord God, little boy rode. No rope, no depth on that. And I jump on it and hold on in the mane in its neck. And it run up and down and I kick up. First time it fling me half and mash me up. But I say, go and ride you still. Lord God Almighty. And one other day, I just saddle him up. And watch him and jump on him with a little piece of whisk. And tie it up and hold on in the mane. And me on it. And all what it did I do, I just sit down on it. It a jump up and a flick up. But I just sit down on it. And I sit down and ride. And from that day, day I still a rider. Our, our donkeys, I want to tell one of ready to flick up and a kick up and a jump up. Sit on like a came and a spark today. Sit on Jackie. Sit on a two for long to go. Sit on Sit on in a hit. Ride on one of them. I know young people there. But I saw the Lord that lead me today. Yeah, man. Yeah, sit down, man. Sit down. Ride, man. Ride. 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 Ride on, King Jesus. No man can hinder thee. Ride on, God's children. No one can hinder thee. Ride on, church of God. Sit down in a Zion. Lord God. Whoa! To those who are at ease in Zion. Whoa! To those who are at ease in Zion. I don't have it in my notes, you know. But I feel this, I want to come down from up a Zion. Whoa! To those who are at ease in Zion. Lord God, I feel a Zion connection. Oh God Almighty, when Zion travel, Zion give birth. But whoa! To those who are at ease in Zion. Oh God Almighty, when I let up, you know, kill the city, whoop you Ride on, sit down in a Zion. I be a scripture them then. You know them scripture there? Mm -hmm. Be a scripture them there, you know? Not too well. Uh. All of me quote a while ago, no scripture. Nothing on no the hotel when me write down. Pay a Bible that a while ago. Nothing about a man. Lord God Almighty. Yes, sir. My brothers and sisters, Moses said, don't be afraid. And the next thing Moses said to them, stand still. Oh, God Almighty. When, I can tell you for don't go to see it. Don't go to see it. Because when he says stand still, you know, it means uh, you, I'm going to do for you what you can do for yourself. <laughs> That's why he says stand still, you know. He says stand still, man. Because I'm going to do for you what only God alone can do. I'm going to preach this one point and then I don't. I'm not going to go on the other point until another time. Here is what the, here's what the word of the Lord says. My brothers and sisters, stand still. Do not do a thing. I will act on myself on your behalf. Stand still. Do not do a thing. I will act by myself on your behalf. You don't need to say any negative thing. You don't need to do anything rash. You know, you need to be ungodly or uncomely or disrespectful or rude to your one another. Oh God, God said, just sit down the man and be still the man. Let me do for you what you cannot do for yourself. When man takes up the work of God, you create problem. Let God do his work. Your duty and my duty is to bless and not to curse. To do good. Mm -hmm. I will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. What only me by myself. That's what the word here means. Stand still. Say, I'm going to do for you what only I can do for you. You can't do it for yourself. No, oh God Almighty. And he says, see the salvation that I will bring. That's the third thing he said. He said, do not be afraid. Olaba, do not be afraid. Olaba, stand still. I'm going to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And the next thing he said, when he says, come with me, have confidence in God so you can go through. He says, I'm going to show you my salvation. 
Oh God, unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, I would have fainted, my brothers and sisters, what God said to Israel. I'm going to show you my salvation. Note carefully that the Hebrew man does not understand salvation as we understand it today to be saved and going to heaven. The Hebrew man understands when God said that to Moses, Moses and the children of Israel understood it to mean, I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to help you. That's what it means. They never had heaven on their mind. Salvation was not related to heaven. But a complete whole deliverance. Yeah. You know, and fear of the man, that God was saying to him. Hmm, followed by three promises. The three responses were followed by three. Oh God promises. One, you will not see the Egyptian again. Number two, the Lord will fight for you. Number three, you shall hold your peace. You shall have peace. The Bible says, my brothers and sisters, oh God Almighty, hey, Moses' ship get lick when he hear that, you know. In ship lick when he hear that. Lord God Almighty, oh God. God say, hey, I'm going to do them a fear, you know. You can imagine how him feel. In ship get lick, same time. Jesus Christ. But we never see God in this light before. I've never seen God like this before. I've never heard this word from God like, like this before. Moses said, all right, my chip get licked now. God said, no, since your chip get licked, you're mad. You know what? So some people have been mad for God. Some people have been mad for God. You know, most a madman, boy, you take up, stick a whole cross, big old long sea. You know, you know, mad people, something that. You must be a madman. Bishop. God tell you, go down, a, go down, a, go down a waterfront and take and stretch and stick across the water. And God said, oh, I want this one. But we see it in the scripture so we can understand. But Moses never heard or seen it before. A mad people, something that. In chip get lick. While his chip, while his chip got lick, him go up there. God tell him, say, you cry too much. Move forward now. My brothers and sisters, while he move forward, the word forward is when you take up a tent. You know, in your picture tent, and you have crusade and need it, God said, pull up the tent now. That's what it means. Pull up the tent and move forward. You camp there so too long now. Pull up the tent and move forward now. Oh God, I'm going to show your power. I'm going to show your glory. In 1920, the angel left from behind of the children of Israel and marched in front of the children of Israel. Note something carefully. The word that the Bible uses is that fear of pursued. The children of Israel. When you pursue somebody according to the text, used there. It means to run after with hostility. Run after to destroy. So when Pharaoh was coming, he was hostile. But God tell her he angel, so get up. And I want you to move from the front. I want you to go at the back. When the angel get to the back, light to Israel and darkness to the enemy. I want to tell you, church of God, while God is with you and your job at school anyway, young people, no devil can stand for you. If a night gonna be light to you and darkness to those who fight against you. Moses stretch out his hand allow the Israelites to cross and the same stretch out hand allow the Egyptian to drown and not to cross. My brothers and sisters God says I will get honor and fear. Fear means great. God didn't say just fear but his horse. That means his force. His chariot. That means his team. His horsemen. That means his horse warriors. Watch the youth my brothers and sisters. Young people of the media. Oh God Almighty. Learn to integrate your faith in everything that you do. Integrate it in the media in the landscape of the media oh God your faith your life I want you to watch out for Beyonce church girl can I preach in the church today my brothers and sisters hear me young people Kirk Franklin just the other day released him song in the, in the rap business hear him say no hear him say bishop he said the lamb this is Kirk Franklin no? the lamb and the lion must bow to the goat, the greatest of all time. Then he comes and he said it wasn't theology, it was whatever he wants to call it. But a nonsense young people, we wolf in a sheep clothing, gotta hook them up, gotta show them up. Go through with God, now go through with Kirk Franklin, our Beyonce church girl. Go through with Jesus Christ, God hope in the sea, go through with Almighty God. Moses lifted his hands on the sea. Oh God, my brothers and sisters. 
where wind blew all night, God could have said, let there be dry land. And dry land could have appeared. But just said, Moses, you and I are work. We are partner. God Almighty. You know what I say, God have partnership? Yeah, man. No fool yourself. In everything God does, God partner with you, man being. Yeah, man. The only thing in the partner with you, man being, I say, let there be light. And them things here. But you see, as long as all of those are created, the partnership starts with man. So God could not just say, let the God could just say, open up. And it opened. But him said, your chip lick now, Moses. Your head mad, your head no good. Stretch out your hand. We don't dry your piece of stick. Not even one green piece of stick. I dry your piece of stick. Oh, God Almighty, what a so God work. Because when I watch the Bible, God, oh God, God provided a dry sticker to part the Red Sea. My brothers and sisters, God made a valley, oh God, and a bridge that the people could pass. Oh God, hear me, my brothers and sisters. God could have done different things. But watch the Bible carefully. Israel's victory was through God and not through Moses. So he ensured that every sign would have been pointing that he, God, was the one who worked uh, the miracle. I watched was in the Bible clearly, and I saw, oh God Almighty, where, uh, where, where Samson used a donkey jawbone to beat down thousands of men. I watched David with a harp and a sling. I watched Esther with a king. My brothers and sisters, uh, hear me, church of the living God. I watched Jehoshaphat with a timbrel and a musical band. Walk down a fighter so enemy with a music band and a timbrel and he flat them out I don't know how a music band and timbrel can destroy an entire horse but when you have God you will go through go through Olava brothers and sisters stand with me everywhere stand with me everywhere go through with God Go through with God in confidence. Go through with God. Go through with God. It's not easy, church of God. But this same God, who was Moses' is God, is your God today. This same God who parted the Red Sea and your God today. This same God who stood up with all the men of all is your God today. This same God who destroyed Pharaoh and all his gods in Egypt is your God today. Lift up your hand and say, I'm going through with your Jesus. I'm going through with your Lord. I'm in a cold sack. I'm in a dead end. I am going through with your Jesus. Going through with God. Going through with God. Going through with God. With a harp and a sling. A piece of dry stick or a king. A timbrel or a guitar. But I'm going through with God. I am fractured, I am wounded. I am imperfect, but I'm going through with God. I watch some things on my TV I shouldn't watch, but I'm going through with God. All my socials are not right, but I am going through with God. All my friends are not the best, but I'm going through with God. I am going through. I am going through. It's difficult, but I am going through. I'm gonna, gonna, you're not going to die at the Red Sea. You're going through. You're going through. You're going through. God will work it out. God will work it out. God, God will work it out. God. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found is God. God is gonna work it out. God will work it out. In your difficult moments, God one is gonna work it out. Yes. One thing I found is that God will. God will work it out. I know that you do not 
don't know how it's going to work out. God will work it out. You don't know how. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know. One thing I found. God will work it out. Brothers and sisters, as we believe that God will work it out, we're going to be praying together. We're going to be praying together. We're going to be calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I remember to pray for the district and the local directors as we pray as well. Is there a person in this audience who is not a Christian? Just lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Just lift your hand. We'll pray for you. We'll pray for you. Let us pray, everybody. Father, we know that you'll work things out. God, we know that we can go through with you. God, Red Sea, Jordan, Giants, whatever it is, Heavenly Father, Pharaoh and his whole host. But you have always worked things out for your children. God, on our jobs, in our families, oh God, deliverance will come. I give you thanks and praise this day, Lord. Because you are God. You have always made a way. When there seemed to be no way. God Almighty. Our Father. Who art in heaven. God was never. Oh God lost the battle. God who needs no one to tell you anything. You know the end. From the beginning. You are God. You are sovereign. The things that are now, you have declared them long time ago in your world. No one or nothing surprises you, Lord. You are the God of gods. The King of kings. You are the lamb and the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the God before whom we bow and we worship you. Thank you for your presence, for your power, for your spirit. Father, I pray even now for us as brothers and sisters. As we go forward, my Father, Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, that you'll hold our hands. Go with us, God, like Moses said, or else we'll not go, my Father. Hold our hands, my God. Part the Red Seas, Jesus. Oh God, open up the Jordans, my Father. Give us the victory again and again, my Father. I pray that you'll strengthen us, God. Help us, Father, from a heart of love and truth to serve you, my God. Oh God, we pray that you'll strengthen us for this week. My Father, we are going through with Jesus. You are the captain, the pilot that has mastered the sea. You never fail, my Father, so I pray today. Keep your grace upon us. Keep your power upon us. Because we are saying, Father, despite the difficulties, despite the trials and the testing, God, from the devil, my Father, we are going through with you. God will renounce every evil, lying and stealing and greed and selfishness, Father. Our heart, oh God, is fixed upon you, oh God. Our hearts are indicting a good matter, my Father. I pray for the young people that God, you'll put your hands upon them. Lord, we are in murky waters, God. All kinds of, oh God, evil. Man telling us to serve God when we used to serve you. Oh God Almighty and the good gospel songs. Oh God become so, oh God, vile and evil. We pray, my Father, that our young people will be discerning and will be wise. And us as leaders and coaches will guide them aright. That when they come upon the waters of the Red Seas, they will know that the God of the fathers will help them, my Father. That they not bow our wilt beneath the weight and the pressures of the enemy but they'll stand up for Jesus I pray for them bless 
strengthen. I pray, oh God, over those, oh God, with their jobs, bless them, promote them. I pray for those in school, help them to do well. Oh God, help them to bloom and to blossom and to be a good fruit, my Father, for your kingdom and for their families and themselves. Bless this church, my Father. I pray for the council. God, I pray that you give them strength, wisdom, and courage, oh God, to help Heavenly Father in this time. I pray for the leaders, oh God, that your spirit will rest upon them. I feel God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Rest upon them, my Father. Bless them, Almighty God. Yes, 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 God, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I, God, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Bless them, my Father. Give them strength. Bless this church, God. And may your people rejoice in the power and presence of God because they are going through with you, Lord. Thank you, my Father, for your blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give God the honor. Lift up your hands and bless him now, church of God. Give him glory. Give him praise. Praise God. Feel God is in his house. Tell somebody, go through with Jesus. Go through. Go through. Hallelujah. Somebody could just worship God. Somebody could worship the Lord. Go through with Jesus. Hey! Hey! Go through with Jesus. Can, can you just high five somebody and tell them, go through with Jesus. God will work it out. Come on. Go through with Jesus. Go through with Jesus. God. God. Will work it out. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God for his word to us today. Would you just bow with me let us consecrate these there's a key we give God thanks there's some olive oil we give God thanks Father in the name of Jesus we thank you for your word today thank you for your servant we ask for grace and touch him with strength and energy and courage. Minister to him, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I lift up this key representing a motor vehicle somewhere in the yard of this compound. I present to you, Lord, pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you dedicate it, consecrate it, cover under your blood the driver. Every time this vehicle is ignite, we pray for divine presence. We pray for divine coverage. We pray, Almighty God, that you protect from accident, harm, and danger. Protect from careless drivers. Mighty God of Daniel, we present this word of it to you. We declare it consecrated, dedicated, covered under the blood. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Father, we lift up these olive oil to you, representing the Holy Spirit. We ask for consecration and dedication. As they are used, O oh God, lives will be touched. Healing will be effected. 
the peace of God, coverage from your blood, will be experienced as you consecrate and dedicate them now to your glory, to your honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people say, Amen. Again, I remind you that this evening at 6 p.m. sharp, all ministry leaders are invited to a one-hour meeting. And then 7 o'clock, we will go into our night service. Shall we stand together? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The peace of God and the God of peace. Rest, remain, and abide with us now and forever. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. That brother that stood up who is not a Christian, I hope someone has taken his name and the number so we can keep in touch. Shake somebody's hand, believers. Have fellowship as you go. Have fellowship one with another. Greet somebody. Love somebody.